finally arrived I don't I don't know if being rolled up is going to affect it but um, now I can finally cut all of my stickers which are waiting for the shop update so I'm gonna open this
me about an hour to finish because I was kind of reading through the chapters and finding quotes that I wanted but I'm really excited for this and I think it's gonna look awesome as stickers so I'm gonna print them out on little craft stickers like die cut um and these are my favorite books I know these aren't everyone's favorites they're a bit different but um yeah, these are my favorite and I chose my favorite chapters and favorite parts from the chapters. Some of them are a little bit chopped up, like this is not, it doesn't flow like this in the book, but I feel like it kind of gets the point across, it tells a story, but the rest are direct e excerpts. So I'm going to print this, I don't know if I want it on white as well, maybe just craft, I'm not sure yet, but I'm gonna do that now and figure out the size of it, but I'm so excited. I think they look so cute. Like how these labels turned out but I am having issues with some of the tearing on the side the sticker doesn't look as bad when you kind of peel it off but just looking at the sticker sheet like this I'm just not really happy with the quality so ah, uh, it's a bit frustrating I'm trying different things now but these are gonna be listed as seconds or just I don't know what I'm gonna do yet but the color is just so beautiful in these sticker sheets but what I am trying is I still have some of the older sticker sheets that I used to use, sorry, sticker paper that I used to use. Um, the color tone of it is a little bit different, so I'm playing around with that, but this should work. So this is kind of my last resort because I do really love these labels and I want them in my shop and I just, I just like the design of them and the colors. So I want it definitely to look more like this. You can probably see if we compare the pinks. This is a much warmer pink and this is a very magenta pink so I did turn it down the color settings but what I did as well is this um this was printed with intensity 15 I think it just makes the colors pop a little bit more when I'm printing but that might contribute to some of that the tearing where the, the color is tearing it's not the cameo that's doing it um so I've tried to turn that down and we are going to test that now so this is intensity negative five I think I made it and the color is slightly different, but now that I'm looking at it, it kind of looks more accurate to the, what's on the screen. I honestly don't know why I had the intensity up. I think things were looking a bit dull, but maybe for these intense colors, because this is definitely the red that I wanted now that I'm looking at it. I'm so confused, but I'm going to try to print this. <sighs> and if that doesn't work, then we'll go with the original sticker paper.
but this mirror is really dirty. I haven't wiped it down in like six months, <laughs> but I need to record. So I just wanted to tell you guys oh, what's been happening today because today is shop update day. And I thought I had it under control. I took all the photos yesterday. All I needed to do was really quickly edit the photos, nothing fancy, and write the product descriptions. And that is a lot of work to do in like three hours. So um, I already made a mistake there. But then what I did wrong was that Kevin needed to get his car serviced this morning, uh, which I kind of knew about. Um, but I was planning to just bring the photos, bring my laptop and do the work from a cafe. That's Kevin making noises. Um, but I forgot to bring the photos. They were on an SD card, which is what I'm using right now to record. And I didn't bring them. So I had no photos to list for the shop update. And we got stuck out there for hours because they took so long working on the car. So I was freaking out, but what I ended up doing was make digital kind of mock-ups, like thumbnails for the products. And it's not ideal because you can't see the details of the product, you can't see the texture of it, anything like that. You couldn't see the size of it even as well, I couldn't give it any context. So it wasn't ideal, but I am still <laughs> so grateful to everyone that placed an order within that first hour. You guys really, oh my god, I was panicking so much. I was sweating, I wasn't ready. Even after the shop update technically went live, I still was listing like other products. <laughs> and I still didn't list everything I wanted to. There were a few more printables that I wanted to list, but we'll do like a mini drop later on. So what I'm going to do now, because I'm home now, we finally got back is I'm going to edit the photos and upload those photos to those listings because I want you guys to be able to see the product details. You know, it's not just enough to have the design. Uh, I want you to actually see the product, like what it's going to look like in person. So that was a very wild and panicky morning. And yeah, I still was not as prepared and organized for the update like I wanted to be but with each update this is only my second official one I'm learning more but again thank you so much to everyone that placed an order oh I'm so happy you guys liked it um I'm gonna be honest like the whole time I was kind of cutting the stickers and putting everything together for the shop update I had such a bad case of imposter syndrome and I was starting to panic because I was like, no one's going to buy these, no one's going to like them. I started to really hate it and um, Kevin just distracted me. <laughs> He's building something outside. I just saw that. Kevin. He's lucky, I love him. But anyway, I just wanted to say that just so if any of you guys are feeling the same thing too. I just had to push through and like not give any any energy to those negative thoughts or allow myself to dwell on them because it's not healthy, it's not helpful at all and um, oh, I'm just so grateful for all those orders and I'm so excited to start packing them but I definitely need to cut more stickers because you guys bought more than I had. <laughs> I always underestimate it. I did make a lot more but I don't know. But first I'm going to edit those photos and get that up and... Thank you. 